Today, we're going to be talking about props. The Inspire One has two different types of props that we're going to be talking about. The first one is the 1345 propeller. The 1345 propeller is the self-tightening stock propeller that was released with the first run of the Inspire Ones. Each prop is marked with a silver or black center to match with the proper motor placement on the Inspire. Now if you look closely, each propeller is labeled accordingly into which direction they will lock and unlock. These are the Inspire One propeller locks. Propeller locks were released shortly afterwards. Users who were experiencing prop issues such as propellers flying off the motors. It is known that lots of these issues were caused by user error, but while in flight, the 1345 propeller was known to loosen and was a cause for concern. This is why the prop lock was released, to help with these issues and to keep the propeller secure to the motor. So here's a tip on how to make sure that your propeller is secure to the motor. You have to hold the motor with your hand while spinning the prop to secure it into place until it is hand tight. If you stick with the 1345 propeller, you have to put prop locks on them. If you're using the 1345 props, DJI has specifically stated that you must use the prop locks. If you don't, you will void your warranty. Now I'm not really sure how DJI would know if you're using these prop locks or not, but it's always better to use them, plus they're really easy to install. Now you have to make sure that the prop locks click into place and check to make sure that they are all secure. Even with the prop locks on, some users were still reporting that their prop locks were flying off the motors and others reported landing after a flight with one or two missing. Again, this might be attributed to user error, so make sure that you are placing these on there securely. And these are the new propellers. 1345S, quick release. Now if your DJI Inspire 1 did not already have this new system in place when you purchased it, you're going to have to install it yourself. If you go with the 1345S, some assembly is required. The 1345S propeller system is supposed to be more secure and faster to get your Inspire 1 up in the air. You're going to need a special tool to install the assembly on each motor. Again, they're identified by black and silver dots. It's not that difficult to install, so make sure to follow the instructions and coordinate the proper colored assembly to each motor. It's up to you to decide which system to use, but if you use the 1345 propeller system, which is the original system that came with the Inspire One, uh, it takes a little bit longer to secure each propeller and to get up in the air. Uh, the 1345S, uh, it's basically a very quick uh, one-step system. Once the uh, assemblies are installed on each motor, you just place the propeller twist and turn and you're pretty much ready to go. The 1345 however you need to make sure that you hand tighten each prop and then you have to place the prop locks on them. For those of you who don't know the DJI propeller systems whether it's a 1345 or the 1345S are only rated for 80 flights. After 80 flights it's a good idea to change them out. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and visit us at moracreative.com.